Hello there and welcome everyone. Before I'd like to begin, I'd like to warn you that this video is probably going to make you healthier. But why? Because you're gonna put down that tosai, it's time to exorcise. Get it? Without further ado. For this week, category is fitness apps. Why do we even need these apps? Just get out and do some store jumps, can ready lah, right? Wrong. Did you know that there are different kinds of exercise such as aerobic, strength, balance, and flexibility? So the reason why I'm letting you know this is because I want you to have faith in exercise and yourself. So, if one method doesn't work for you, there are other things you can do. Hope you don't mind that I'll change your mind. Anyways, I'll rate how great each app is with dates. Firstly, let's look at food because that's good. To start off, we have Yolk Feet. You can use this app to create a meal plan and exercise program according to your body parameters, height, weight, and fitness level. You set your own goals and the app shows you the way to reach it. Because some people, like me, need to stop being round like a boy. Some people, like me, need to gain muscle, 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 like you know, that anime. <laughs> Nextly, introducing my friend, my Fitness Pal. MFP has the largest database of foods you can find for both name brand packaged foods and even homemade meals. Not only for Angmore food, ah, but also for Asian food as well. The best part is, for so many features, it's free. Sometimes My Fitness Pal may be a little rude to remind you about the truth. The reality in calories and the pain abstaining from the grain. And no, washing your cooked rice does not wash the carbs away, okay? Just please don't do it. MFP keeps your portions in check and saves your diet from wreck. Both of these apps get the rating of Fiat out of 10 because they're both pretty great and on par with each other. Throwback time! Remember that MCO moments when every day was just about doing the same things at home? That's when YouTube yoga and TV training became a thing. Bet you did an app workout challenge video. You did, right? <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> For the strength and aerobic training segment, I have picked Nike Training Club, which is basically a PT app. No, not for Puiting, which is my name. The PT here stands for Personal Trainer. Anyways, during the workout, a video will show you how to exercise. There are over 200 options of endurance and strength workouts for you to choose. The best part of all, it's totally free. There are no ads, premium plans, or paid memberships. Another app I'd like to give a special mention to is Jafit. This app was designed for gym lovers such as myself. In many ways, Jafit is a workout counter. You can track your progress alongside rest times. For starters, they also teach you how to correctly use gym equipment. So I don't have to fumble around and wait for some good looking hot buff oh, gym hunk to save me from my misery. My scores for these are 9 feet out of 10 for Nike Training Club and 7 feet for Jafit. Jafit. For you lazy bums who need some fun in your runs, I have done my runs to bring to you C to 5K. Literally, I'll help you C to 5K as in kilometers. They say the journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. But you also need motivation to bring you to the finish line, right? These developers from Zen Labs are filled with the goal of turning you couch potatoes into 5k running french fries. So fit and fly. Fly. The science behind this app is that it incorporates high intensity interval training, HIIT, into your runs. And yes, whilst HIIT 
may be hard. It does not stand for ha. <sighs> it does not stand for hellish, impossible, intensive, torture. It's just a cardiovascular exercise strategy that alternates between short periods of intense anaerobic exercise with less intense recovery periods. You can burn as much calories as a normal workout for half the time and you only need to do it 3 times a week to be fit. A special mention is Strava. 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 The Swedish word for strive. In my opinion, it's great because you can track not just runs but cycling rides, swimming, rock climbing, skiing, and even yoga activity. How? It analyzes data from GPSs, heart rate monitors, and even your bike's power meter. You can also share workouts and performance metrics with other people on the platform. Hence, the company advertises Strava as the social network for athletes. Like Facebook, it is Fitbook. <laughs> so, C to 5K gets Fiat out of 10 Yates, and Strava gets a 7.8 feet. Now, for the next section, I need you to relax. Hello there, young one. Are you experiencing turbulence in your life? A period of unrest in your current state, both physically and mentally. Do not worry, for I am here. I am Guru Pads, and I will help you to realign your chakras. First off, we have Yoga Glow. It has over 4,000 classes on different yoga types. Hatha, Kundalini, Iyengar, and Yin. Long ago, these four yoga poses were hard for many. But everything changed when Yoga Glow attacked the issue. In classes, a guru teaches you yoga step by step, move by move, and breath by breath. So don't YOLO, yo know. If yo yoga, yoga na be healthy. Next up on the list, we have Headspace. This app offers a huge variety of meditations with the best guided sessions for beginners and with less structured programming for pros. It's easy to use, streamlined, but most importantly, it's cute. Like me. What I like most about the app is the panic section. The SOS category of meditation is very useful in tough times. Like if you ever crash your car, get scammed by MLM, or if you ever get invited for yum ta with a friend, but it's just insurance scam. Trust me, you'll never know, but you need it, okay? And always remember that meditation is always better than medication. Although, you shouldn't take my word seriously for this because I'm not a doctor, okay? So, Galo receives a 7 V8 out of 10 and Headspace receives 7 V8 out of 10. But take note that these apps are only judged by their free-to-use functions. Though I'm sure it'd be much higher if I had the paid version of the app. The winner of my favorite fitness app is... Congratulations, Pets in Nike Clothes. <clears throat> I mean, Nike Training Club app. You did well. Now, dear viewers, it is time for the happy message of the day. If you don't turn... If you don't turn your fatness into fitness, your sadness will become your sickness. Steady steady, bom pipi is out of date already. Now you listen to me because it is going to be fit fit, bom <laughs>